Good evening and welcome to the Saturday News at 10. I'm Gretchen Parsons. This afternoon, the old Idaho penitentiary kicked off its series of tours called Buried Secrets. The tours run all week and tell the history be behind some of the inmates who died at the old pen. Today, our Missy Inglet joined in on one of the tours to give us an inside look. The old Idaho penitentiary may have shut down in 1973, but a lot of history is still alive within its walls. Today, tour members got to learn about that history and learn about some of the inmates who served time here. The cemetery tours are an annual event here at the old Idaho Penitentiary. One of the unique things that we'll do on these tours is actually go to the location of the death. We'll go to death row next. Our main gentleman who stayed here was Mr. Raymond Snowden. He ended up meeting a lady named Cora Dean. He ended up having a pocket knife in his pocket and he used that almost two inch blade to attack her. He ends up slicing her throat. Eventually he went to court, stayed here for about five months, and eventually two months later he was sent for his execution through those doors to the gallows. For some people, you know, they kind of want to know um, maybe if there's paranormal activity. A lot of that we can't answer, but we can take you into that location. We can provide you with the story. Behind the shirt factory is actually the burial of Dennis the cat. Dennis was this cute kitten that was discovered by an inmate who was working in the chicken coop actually in this yard here. They checked his pockets, but they didn't find the kitten. So he was able to get the kitten back to his cell. After 16 years of being incarcerated at the old pen, he did pass away. This is our old hospital. We did have a huge Spanish flu epidemic here. We had a total of six gentlemen who did die. Another gentleman named Frank Frisbee, he was an Irishman, but because he got the Spanish flu, he had no family or friends. They ended up burying him in the cemetery because of that. I'm a cat person, so my probably favorite part was about the cats that were here. Hey, I thought it was great. I never even knew there was one, and all the years I've walked those foothills and come on field trips and all kinds of stuff. It was just really interesting. It's really interesting that they don't know who's buried here. There's a, a, a more unknowns than knowns. We're, we're continuously studying uh, the number of deaths. We're up to confirmed 129 that occurred here at the penitentiary. We're doing all this research out at the cemetery to really confirm how many people are buried out there. The penitentiary is continuing its work with Boise State University to unearth more history and facts about those unknown graves here to hopefully be able to add more stories to future tours. Reporting at the old Idaho penitentiary, Misty Inglet, Idaho's News Channel 7. Tours continue every day through Friday. There are four different times each day. For more details on the cemetery tours and the old Idaho pen, just check out this story on our website, ktbb.com.